Hey guys, welcome to Indie Game Hustle. My name is Charles, and in this video, um, we're going to start to set up our game with our character. And we're gonna go into the Asset Store. In my case, I'm gonna go over to the Package Manager and actually um, download our hero and our villain and the, uh, I guess, one of the characters we're gonna also try to protect. Okay, so uh, let's go ahead and do that first. Um, so the first thing I'm going to do is, is go ahead and head over to, uh, let's see here, uh, Package Manager. And I'm going to search for that. And it's not going to find it there. I need to go into my assets and I'm going to get rid of that. And then I'm going to search it again. And there it is. So if you want to follow along, of course, uh, you would have to pick up this particular asset, but you do not have to get this asset. You can use any character uh, that works with Game Creator, and that is why uh, Game Creator is probably the, uh, probably the coolest thing I've ever used, because uh, it just makes it super easy for you to get up and going with whatever character, as long as it's it works with Mechanism and, and all of that sort of thing. So, um, so I'm going to use this character as our hero uh the red guy is going to be our villain and that's who we're going to be fighting over okay in the center so uh pretty classic uh i guess platformer rescue mission right so i'm just gonna go ahead and get that so just a moment and let's see here so i'll go down here to download it doesn't look like it is a letting me to download this so I don't know why, but that's okay. We're going to just going to have to go into the asset store to do it. So I already actually have it up here. So let me go ahead and see if we can get it uh, installed this way. So I'm going to click download. And I have not used this yet. This will be the very first time me uh, utilizing this. So hopefully it actually is going to work for our needs. If not, we will find something together to use. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and hit import as well. And I'm going to do that within the asset store tab as opposed to the package manager. There could be a reason. It could be that this is an older asset. It was published in 2017. I don't know. It could just be an error with the package manager. Who knows? But for now, I'm just going to go ahead and do it through here. So let's go ahead and see. All right, I'm going to do import. All right, that didn't take too long. It looks like everything is looking pretty normal. Um, I typically look here to see what I'm importing because sometimes uh, when you do, when you install certain things from Unity, it can come with things that could change your settings and, and all of that. So I typically look through here. And really what we want to pull from here is just the game character and its materials, okay? So what I'm going to first do is just get rid of everything. And I see a lot of things here like, you know, editor and UI and, and, and all types of things that I don't need in the project. And I just want to focus on getting the materials. I want the models. I don't need any type of pro, uh, post processing effects for their scenes. Um, it looks like it has textures. So of course, I'm going to want the textures and uh, I think I'm good there. So uh, let's see here. So post processing. Uh, let's see. Make sure I'm not I'm not missing anything. And I think I'll be good. We're gonna go ahead and test it out and see uh, how that looks. Yeah. So what I'll go ahead and do is materials, models, and textures. And so that's. I think that's all I need. So let's go ahead and do import and see how that goes. All right. All right. So it looks like it's done uh, installing. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and close this window since that didn't work. And uh, let's see here. So let's go into my folder. And let's take a look at where it's actually at. Right. So uh, it's going to be listed as chibi character. So what I'm going to do is take this and I'm going to click and drag it into my 3D assets folder. OK, and I'm going to do that for anything that is kind of just about models or whatever. But if I was to purchase something as for specifically like animation, 
um, I would probably put it in the animation folder. All right, so let's take a look at what we're getting here. So we have some materials, and of course they're all pink, and that's okay. So what we're gonna need to do here, because this is URP, these assets were created with standard Unity rendering, right? So they're gonna need to be converted. Now, if you're not used, uh, if you've never converted anything from standard to uh, like a new render pipeline, it's actually very easy. All you have to do is head over to edit and then go down to where it says render pipeline, go down to universal render pipeline and where it says upgrade project materials to URP or universal RP materials. So I'm going to go ahead and click that. You can do it selected, but we're going to do everything in the project and we're going to proceed. All right. And so all of that has been uh, updated. Hopefully, let's see if it fixed it. Looks like it fixed it properly. So that's good to see. All right. And let's take a look at the textures as well. Looks like the textures are good to go. We got our normal maps and our uh, ambient occlusion stuff. Uh, and of course, we have our models here. So what I'm going to go do is put the model into the scene and take a look at it for the first time. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and execute this uh, cube out a little bit. So I'm just going to go to tools and go to Pro Builder and click on Pro Builder window. And I'm just going to go ahead and pop this puppy right here. And I'm going to once you bring this toolbox over in, uh, in your scene or into your editor window, uh, you're going to get these up here. And if you're not familiar with Pro Builder, I assume you are. But if you're not, uh, generally speaking, this is just like your object tool vertices edge tool and face tool, right? Face selection. And so I'm, I want to select the faces. So I'm just going to go ahead and move that out. Now, another thing, uh, if you notice, uh, it's it's not snapping to a grid and, and that's fine. Um, I can make it snap by holding down the control key and that's fine. That works perfectly fine. Um, but if you want to use pro grids to do it, you're going to have to move this out the way for the moment. And uh, you can bring this down. And so now if you click on and then you set the uh, snap increment to one, that's basically one meter, then it's going to snap like that. And that's great. Um, now, since we're using Game Creator, uh, let's go ahead and uh, clean house with this. So this little toolbar here naturally will sit on top of this. And we don't want that there uh, because when we're actually using it and we just don't want that in front or behind it. So to fix that, um, I do have a video on this, but since we're here, all we need to do is, I believe if I remember it is you're going to go into the game creator preferences. Is it the preferences? It, it's probably it's the preferences, right? It's got to be preferences. Yeah. Preferences, and then once you open preferences, you want to go to general, okay? And then you want to change the toolbar position. Pretty simple, right? So all we have to do is X and Y, all right? So Y is going to be up and down, X is left and right. So uh, we want it to be maybe bigger, like let's, I don't know what 20 gives us. Let's see what 20 gives us. So I set that to 20. If I hit play, it's going to reset it. And we'll just wait for that to uh, get into play mode. And then once I get out of play mode, it should set it where uh, wherever this uh, 20 uh, is going to land us. So let's get out of play mode. Great. All right. So it moved it more that way. Um, let's see here. So if I do seven, I don't know. And see what that gives us and then I'll hit play and get out and move this more so we'll just maybe go maybe 40 and then get out of play mode it looks like it's moving it so let's just go 70 I think that was the right number yeah perfect all right so that's close enough for me now if you want to move it up a little bit you can you want to be kind of aligned with that uh, set it to seven so I think that'll move it up 
yeah, I made it up. And yeah, so basically this is zero, right? So zero's here, so of course 70 this way, and zero would be like up here, like right there. So of course uh, 70 would be in seven. So seven and 70, 70 and seven, there we go. So that works. So now that won't be in front and no matter what size, you know, if you move it, it's gonna be right where it needs to be. So that's perfect. Okay, all right, so. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and grab this and I'm just going to move that open a little bit there and then pop that open and perfect. So now we have our little cube and we're going to put out a character here. So we have the little robot boy and we have this here and that's going to be who is going to be our hero for today. All right. And so what we're going to do is go over to rig. It's already set to humanoid, so that's good to go. And we have animation and material, so that's good to go. All right, so the first thing we wanna do is uh, look at Game Creator and get our Game Creator base model out there so we can swap our Game Creator base model with our hero character. All right, so um, what I wanna do is click on Create or Create Player. And when I click Create Player, it's going to put a player right in the scene and if you hit the F key you can zoom in there and it looks like of course we're going to be snapping to the grid so I'm going to turn this off and then I'll hold down the control if I want to get increment snaps like that perfect and uh, yeah control yeah all right perfect all right so and then because I don't want any shadows right now uh, what I'm going to do is turn off this light and uh, look make that a little darker that's great all right, perfect. So this is our game creator base character, okay? And uh, this magic is, uh, is pretty awesome. So if I were to first, I'm gonna select my main camera and you can select it again, even though you can't see it in the scene, uh, you can still select it, but I'll go ahead and at least make it so that you can see it. I'm gonna select the camera and then I'm going to move my uh, perspective maybe like right here and then what I do is just go to game object and align with a view so that our game view is going to match that okay all right perfect all right so if I were to I have my player here what I'm gonna have to do now is in order for my player to move around uh, properly uh, what I would want to do is, uh, let's see here, the first thing we want to go ahead and do, create a camera motor. And this camera motor is going to control what style of game in a way we're going to do it with, right? So right now it's set to what they call an adventure camera. And this is kind of what we're going to be using, a standard 3D camera for our 3D platforming game. And uh, you can change that to all types of different things like first person, fixed, etc. But we're going to stick to this. All right. So I'm going to leave that just like so. And then I'm going to take a look at the main camera. Now, when you create the camera motor, it's automatically going to create a couple of components for your camera. And it's going to do something called a hook camera and then a camera controller. And then in most cases, it's going to connect that camera motor right here. Okay. So if it doesn't have their camera motor here, all you have to do is click and drag that guy right inside there and it will be connected. Okay. All right. So now when we select our player, um, the player is going to have a bunch of different components. Of course, if you're already used to a uh, game creator, this is not new to you. But um, if you're new to it, generally speaking, this is going to give us things like uh, you can set your character to run or not. You can change the speed. You can do jumping. You can do double jump or even triple jump. Um, all types of different things here. Um, so for now, we're going to leave all this stuff basic for the moment. And we just want to make sure that our character is moving in our scene. So I'm going to go ahead and hit play. All right, great. So we can rotate with the mouse here and we can move and we can jump. And that's all we needed to do right now. Perfect. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and get out of play mode. Great, and there is gonna be one thing I wanna change. Now, with the mouse movement, you notice it was very quick in moving. So you wanna just go ahead and select the camera motor and we wanna change that mouse movement to hold left mouse click. 
So now when we move the mouse, we have to click and, and drag to move the mouse left or right, up or down. And then I want to change the orbit speed to something a little slower, maybe uh, maybe like you know 10 or something. That's fine for now. And we can even change the sensitivity to five for now. So, and uh, they also have a auto reposition behind, and that's going to be very useful. But in the beginning, uh, we're going to turn that off. And uh, they have different zoom limits, but we'll we'll leave that alone for now. So I'm going to hit play. And just to see uh, those settings, so you can use the scroll wheel to zoom in and out, and click in and drag. So now we have something like this, and this works pretty good. Okay. All right, perfect. And we can still jump using the space key, space bar, and that's good. Perfect. So now we have our character, and this is a very general look. So we have our guy good there. All right. All right, so now we need our new little main character to take the place of this because we don't want to keep this. So we're going to select the player. And when we select the player, if you scroll down in the inspector, you're going to see where it says drop your 3D model. All right, so what I'm going to do is go here and where it says Chibi Boy, I'm going to click and drag this there. Now, if for any reason, uh, you know, you click it and it does this, and you're like, oh crap, where'd it go? It's gone. Um, what you can do is select the player, and you can select this icon here, the little lock icon. So now when we select objects in another window, um, it's not gonna change the inspector window, okay? All right, and uh, just be remind yourself though, when you're doing things to turn it off. So, all right, so what I'm gonna do is move this one and not this one over to the um, over to this area where it says drop your 3d model okay all right so hopefully this all works all right all right so that's looking good it looks like it's working all right so far so good all right so the thing is um, what I want to do is select a player and if you notice, the collision box is a bit taller than our little guy here. And that's okay. Um, we can change that. So I think we can change that by changing the height. So he's a bit shorter. So we're going to change it to maybe a point, or not point, but 1.5, maybe. Yeah, 1.5 seems about right. And um, let's go ahead and move the center down to maybe a 0.75 and that seems that seems good to me I like that alright so we're gonna set that I think that looks pretty good alright perfect alright so let's go ahead and see if our player is going to walk around alright so the idle animation is there so that's good and it looks like we have our player moving and he looks awesome so we're gonna we're going to work with this and this will work out pretty good. All right, great. But he's a bit gray. And so we don't want a gray character. We want someone with some some color. So uh, what we're going to go ahead and do is look at some of the materials. That's not the materials I'm looking for. Um, we're going to look at some of these and I'm going to go ahead and change it so I can just see. And what we're going to do is go with Chibi Boy let's see here aqua let's see what that looks like all right cool and we'll just go with the head ah perfect all right so that looks pretty good i like it and uh, i'm just curious yeah it got its eyes there and we can go with black let's see if that does anything no it doesn't do anything yeah that goes with that okay so you can go with different colors as well okay and we can use that to our advantage actually uh for some interesting things right so we will play with that as a interesting object we'll we'll, we'll see how that will make that work that's not going to work for us because that's probably for the girl and the same thing for the skull right so that's the chibi boys textures there so there we go all right all right so I'll go ahead and push play and just to see what that looks like all right great all right, so that works out pretty good. All right, perfect. 
All right, so now that we have our character in the scene and ready to go, um, I'm just gonna go ahead and save. I want you to make sure that you're always uh, saving your stuff uh, and, uh, you know, because you never know something might happen. And uh, the, the power tends to go off here all the time when it's raining and it rains a lot here. So uh, let me just go ahead and save. So before I save, uh, we wanna make sure we're in the base scene and this is the base scene. So I'm gonna go to file, save, and we should be good there. And then I always do this, I do not know why, but I always also do save project. I need to look up why or what that means. What's the difference between save and save project? I'll look that up and I'll let you guys know. Uh, but other than that, I think we're good to go. I'm not gonna turn this into a prefab just yet, but he will definitely, definitely be a prefab. And um, along with a lot of different objects in our game, it's going to be a prefab characters. Uh, uh, items, uh, menus, buttons. We're going to use prefabs for a lot of things. And I may not go into full detail about necessarily how prefabs work, but I will definitely have a, a nice link to a video that explains it probably much better than I could about how prefabs work. Um, but I will touch on it a little bit. But generally speaking, I'll have a link to uh, a good video about how prefabs work. But other than that, that's pretty much it for this video. Um, generally speaking, we just wanted to get our character in the scene and that's how you do it with the game creator. And so with this, uh, we're gonna start talking about setting up the different mechanics for our player. Okay, so what is this player gonna be doing in the game? Is he going to be running, jumping, crawling, punching, swinging an item, uh, a weapon, that sort of thing? And so I do have some ideas and we're going to implement a few of those. OK. All right. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Hey, guys, thanks for tuning in. For the next set of videos, I'll be releasing one every day at 10 a.m. Eastern time. So to stay up to date on the latest 3D platforming tutorial, feel free to subscribe to the channel. If you'd like to support, you can find me on Patreon or, of course, you can hit me up on Discord. I like to talk about whatever project you guys are working on. Of course, thanks for hanging with me. Your support is always appreciated. As always, remember, never give up and keep moving forward. Peace.